So wait, let's begin with prayer. Elements, so we talk about. Father in heaven, we thank you for bringing us together. To understand how best to manage your money. Give us wisdom this afternoon, we pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay. The session this afternoon is entitled Neither Poverty Nor Riches. So Redefining wealth and prosperity. So just a little bit about me. I am not a professional and I'm not giving professional advice. I am a business major and a math teacher. And I have a master's degree in which I graduated debt free. And also I have a house that I paid off in two years. And also in the year 2014-2015, I saved 55%, gave away about 22%, and lived on about 23-24%. 那么二零一四年，二零一五年呢，我存了大概五十五八千，我的收入只花了二十三八千，也把二十二八千的啊收入呢都捐出去了。And we also had a baby during that time. So I'm working on one salary, our home, one ministry salary, and my wife stays at home with baby. 在家里只有我有一个人的收入，我的太太呢就在家里做家庭主妇。and there is no secret windfall anywhere in our history. We also write a blog called savingcrumbs.com. Okay, so the outline this afternoon, we're going to take a quiz. So question number one, true and false. We shouldn't talk about money. Because of the root of all evil, you already know the answer. It's false. Because First Timothy six ten tells us the love of money is the root of all evil. Not the money that's the problem. It's the love of money that's the problem. So we really should spend some time discussing how to control this issue. So we really should spend some time discussing how to control this issue. So Money, how does money impact our lives? Money impacts every aspect of our lives. Just whenever you need to fill up, it costs money. If you use a smartphone, it costs you money in multiple, multiple ways. You have to buy the phone. You have to pay for the service. The minutes or the data. If you buy apps, you have to pay for that. Lots of money in your smartphone. It even costs us money to be sick. Not only the medicine, but the loss of time at work. Relationships get impacted by money. You know what I'm talking about? If you've ever had if you ever loan money to a friend, all of a sudden you notice everything they do with money. Why are you going on that vacation when you owe me a hundred dollars? How come you're eating at that expensive restaurant when I had to pay for your lunch yesterday? Relationships. Of course, education. It costs money. Conferences like what we're attending here. You saw it in the offering appeal this morning. And so many ministries. We even, we even say, oh, such a pity they didn't know how to manage the money, and now God's ministries have to close. 
我们就看到很多，哎呀，这是可惜，他们必须必须要关闭，因为他们没有金钱的观念哈。Money impacts all aspects of our lives. 钱财呢，在我们生命中真的是无孔不入啊。And the Bible has over 2,000 texts talking about money. 而圣经中呢，有超过两千个话呢，都是章节都说到金钱的。So it's difficult for me to say that we should not talk about this subject. 所以呢，我们真的是不能不说关于钱财的这一门学问。That's why we're spending six hours talking about it. So, 这次的讲座六个小时，我们可以谈到这。Okay. So, question number two in the quiz. 第二个问题 ，To save money is to be faithless in God's ability to provide for us. 如果你存钱的话呢，就是你对上帝没有信心。And usually, part of this discussion is because Jesus is coming soon. 我在讨论这个话题中呢，就会常常说，哦，因为耶稣要快来了。So, because Jesus is coming soon. Everything's gonna burn up anyway, so let's not save any money. Because Jesus is coming, everything is gonna be burned up anyway, so let's not save any money. Because Jesus is coming, everything is gonna be burned up anyway, so let's not save any money. Because Jesus is coming, everything is gonna be burned up anyway, so let's not save any money. Because Jesus is coming, everything is gonna be burned up anyway, so let's not save any money. Because Jesus is coming, everything is gonna be burned up anyway, so let's not save any money. Because Jesus is coming, everything is gonna be burned up anyway, so let's not save any money. Because Jesus is coming, everything is gonna be burned up anyway, so let's not save any money. Because Jesus is coming, all of the things that we need, what we eat, drink, or be clothed with, God knows we have all the need of all these things. But it says, "But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you." So, 就说到呢，这一切的东西啊，就是所吃、所穿、所喝的呢，都不需要去担忧，因为呢，我们需要先求他的国、他的义，然后这一些就会加给我们。It even says there, take therefore no thought for tomorrow. Don't worry about the things you need. 甚至说，叫我们不要为明天而忧虑。So. Isn't that telling us to not save and don't worry about money and just let Jesus provide? This is not telling us to not spend our money and then just let God take care of our needs. That's an interesting thinking, but we need to see what what else Scripture has to say. This is a very good idea, but we need to look at what the Bible tells us. So Proverbs six verse six through eight. So Proverbs six verse six through eight. So Proverbs six verse six through eight. It says, Go to the ant thou slugger, consider her ways and be wise, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provider of meat in the summer, and gather her food in the harvest. He said, Many people go to look at the ants, to look at their ways, to have wisdom, because they don't have a ruler, they don't have a ruler. But they gather food every summer, waiting for the harvest. It sounds like the ant is not following what Jesus said in Matthew 6. It sounds like the ant is not following what Jesus said in Matthew 6. The ant is working so hard to provide. Because this ant is spending a lot of time to provide. What else does the Bible say? 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 然后呢，他也说到这个愚拙的人呢，会把这一切呢都花光。So the wise is the one who saves, and the fool is the one who does not save. 所以智慧人是有存续的，但是没有智慧的人，愚拙的就会花光。First Timothy five eight, but if any provide not for his own, and especially for his own house, he has denied faith and is worse than an infidel. 提摩太前书五章八节说呢，如果有人不啊照顾自己的人的话。不，特别是他自己家族里的人没有去照顾他们的话，他甚至是没有信心的，比不信的人更加糟糕。These are serious verses. 这些是比较严肃一些的章节。It seems to be in contradiction, though, with what Jesus said. 但是这是否和耶稣刚刚所说的好像有一个差距 ？Last day event, page seventy-six. 这个是啊，末日征兆啊，原文七十六页。Jesus declared that when he comes, some of his waiting people will be engaged in business transactions. 而是我说呢，在耶稣来的时候，他看见他的人啊，他的子民呢，都在做这个啊贸易上的交易。It's not his will that his elect shall abandon life's duties and responsibilities. 这里说呢，上帝的旨意不是要他的选民呢放弃他们生活上的责任，而啊。So God expects us to still fulfill our temporal responsibilities. Even as the, at the end of time, so in the Gospel, when Jesus comes back, he still sees that his people are still working, still fulfilling their responsibilities. So how do we harmonize this with the Gospel? So how do we harmonize this with the Gospel? So how do we harmonize this with the Gospel? So how do we harmonize this with the Gospel? So how do we harmonize this with the Gospel? So how do we harmonize this with the Gospel? So how do we harmonize this with the Gospel? So how do we harmonize this with the Gospel? So how do we harmonize this with the Gospel? So how do we harmonize this with the Gospel? So how do we harmonize this with the Gospel? So how do we harmonize this with the
on one hand, Jesus says, don't worry about the future, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all these things will be added unto you. But the rest of the verses we read tells us that the people that God encourages us to provide for our home, to, to save, and to work hard. The answer is actually quite simple. How do you seek God first? We somehow get this idea that seek ye first is, oh, we just sit at home in our room and pray. Prayer is certainly a part of it. But do we not say we need to study God's word and by faith follow and obey what it tells us? Isn't that, isn't that what we tell new converts when they come to the church if they have addiction or like self problems? See what God says and by faith obey it. So the same way if we have financial issues, the way that we seek God first and his righteousness is by taking a look at what has God said and that I will do. So number three, the question there, God wants us to live a comfortable life. True or false? True. True. And you guys are very scared of being different. Comfortable life. What does that mean? That's really the big question. Okay, Council on Stewardship, page 250, paragraph 2. Have you and your wife understood it to be a duty that God enjoined upon you to deny your days and desires? And make provision for the future, that's saving, right? 然后呢, 储蓄为了未来做供益, Instead of living merely for the present, you could have now had a competency and your family have had the comforts of life. 而且不只是为了现在而活的话呢，你现在呢就已经能够啊有一个家庭可以活在一个很舒适的环境下。Sometimes we get this idea that God, and especially Ellen White, we think they're oh so strict. 有时候我会觉得，哎呀，上帝，特别是好像谈到早期教会的领袖，还是这么的严格。The only clothing we can wear is like black and put the bonnet, right? 我们可以穿的衣服只是好像黑色的衣服，然后要戴一个头套。yeah, missionary, no NEC for you. Yeah, you can't have washing machine. <laughs> because we're missionary. <laughs> but what we say here, see here is that God actually wants us to have the comforts of life. Now, what does that actually mean? There's a balance here. Okay, God does not require that his people should deprive themselves of that which is really necessary for the health and comfort. So that's one side, but the balance is he does not approve of wantonness and extravagance and display. So there's a place for comfort, but not a place for unnecessary luxury. So that's the principle, and within that, 
There's still room for differences. 所以这是原则，在原则中间呢，是呃，每个人都应该会有一些的差距。But I hope we understand. We see here that in the heart of God, He doesn't want us to suffer. 但是我希望大家现在能够清楚了解，上帝呢不是要我们去啊、呃、很可怜这样子的是啊受难。Money can't buy happiness, but neither can poverty. 可是一句话，就是金钱不能买幸福，但是呢，贫困呢也买不了幸福，对不对？ So sometimes you get the idea, oh, it is holy to be poor. You so may 觉得哦，要圣洁就要贫穷。It's like I am holy because I'm poor. 我我们圣洁因为我们穷，对不对 ？It might just mean you're irresponsible. 很多的时候呢，是因为你啊没有原啊没有责任感哦。Of course, there are those who really are poor for the sake of the kingdom, and I'm not making fun of those people. 那当然有很多人是为了上帝国度的缘故而啊成为贫穷的，不是在笑他们哦。Okay, so question number four. So, the fourth question: Being in debt is a sin. 有债是一个罪来的。Okay, true. 正确还是不正确？哦，不正确。Some didn't raise their hand. This is the harder one, right? 比较难一点了，是吧？嗯 ，So okay, I finally got you. 终于抓到了。Okay, is it a sin to be in debt? That's the question. 所以如果你有债，就是犯罪，是真的吗？ Take a look. We'll look at it. Publishing Ministry, page two o nine. This is ah, talking about this ink swab. This is ah, this is Ellen White writing about herself. 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 去印刷人们所需要的这个书籍。Now, let's skip to the end. It says, when the expense of issuing my books is lessened, the sale will soon pay up all my debts. 然后他说呢，如果这些啊，我需要印刷书的这些啊花费啊，会可以减少的话呢，那么如果我把书卖掉了过后，就可以还债了。Ellen White borrowed money. 所以怀斯姆有借钱哦。I don't believe she would have done it if it was a sin. 我不相信，如果他知道是呃犯罪的话呢，他应该不会去做这样子的事情的。But at the same time， 但同一个时候 ，we have balancing statements。我们有平衡的。Proverbs twenty-two verse seven。箴言二十二章七节说 ，the borrower is servant to the lender。他说借钱的呃，和人借钱的呢，就成为那借钱人的这个仆人了。That is the case every time。那是一定的。四十。Adam's Home 393. 富林幸福家庭原文三百九十三页。Okay, be determined never to incur another debt. 他说呢，你要立志呢，不再有再欠债了。Deny yourself a thousand things rather than run in debt. 你更加应该呢，啊，不让自己拥有各种各样的东西呢，也不要去借钱了。This has been the curse of your life. You should avoid it as you would the smallpox. 他说呢，这是你生命中的一个诅咒。你要远离它，就好像你远离病症一样。So even though debt may not be necessarily a sin， 所以虽然说欠债呢，可能不是一种的啊、uh, 犯罪。It's something very unpleasant that you want to avoid。但是呢，它是一个非常不好的东西，你必须要尝试远离的东西。Just like you don't want smallpox， 就像你不要这个病症。You don't want to be in debt. 同样的呢，你你别不要啊欠债。So we'll talk. We have a whole section later on talking all about debt. 所以之之后呢，我们会讲关于这个欠债的东西。And that is number five. 可能第五场应该会讲到。Okay, number five. Question number five. A budget is a cornerstone of sound personal finance. 第五个问题，你有一个预算呢，是个人理财的。基础最重要的一个部分。True， 正确吗 ？True，No one says false。正确。I think this one was a very easy question。这比较容易点啊。Ellen White actually confirms this。白师傅也是这样写到的。Councils on stewardship。所以在管家的勉勉中。Page two ninety four paragraph one。原文二九四页。In the study of figures, the work should be made practical。他说呢，在我们啊、呃、学习数学的时候呢，应该要非常的啊、呃、有运用性的。Let every youth。And every child be taught not merely to solve imaginary problems, but to keep an accurate account of his own income and outgoes. 
，让每一个小孩子、每一个年轻人都学习，不是只是呃算一些啊、呃、想象中的问题而已，但是呢，去精算呢他们每一次的收入和付出。Let them learn the right use of money by using it. 让他们学习如何正确的使用钱财。So L Y recommends having a budget. 所以怀斯姆是建议我们都应该会理财的。Okay, question number six. 第六节。Before I go any further, we'll be discussing how to do a budget in session number four. 那么第四场呢，我会学习怎么样做一个预算啊。Okay, so question number six: Giving a ten percent tithe is the extent of my financial obligation to God. 好，第六节，十分之一呢，就是我对上帝所应该付出的责任。Is that true or false? 是正确还是不正确 ？True. Higher or lower extent? Okay, so let me clarify the question. The question is, giving 10% tithe is all, the only thing, financially, that I am required to do for God. 那我清楚的解释一下哈，十分一是唯一我们金钱上的所需要还与上帝的啊责任。That clear? 清楚吗 ？Okay. So is that true or false? 正确还是不正确 ？Okay. Hopefully this one is, is yeah, you understand this one. 希望你明白。And we're going to be talking about this the whole next hour. Okay, the second session this afternoon is all about this concept. So, the second session, later, the next hour, we'll be talking about this. Will a man rob God? We are we going to rob God? Yes, we are going to rob God. 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 Okay, so Malachi three eight, and then how much? This is Malachi three eight. Should be how much? We'll talk about that. We'll see it again. Maybe we can go back and look. Okay, question number seven. Number seven. Investing is gambling. It's not biblical and is contrary to sound Christian principles. Um, 投资钱财呢，就好像赌博一样，是不呃不在圣经里面的，和基督徒的原则呢是相反的。正确还是不正确？哦，正确。Depends, yeah. Okay, that's a good, good point. We're actually in. 有有不同的。We're actually going to be spending the entire sixth hour talking about investing. 我们第六场呢会讲到关于这个投资的东西。Oh. But it is not possible to say all investing is wrong because of this. 我们不能说所有的投资都是不正确的，因为。Matthew twenty-five verse twenty-seven. 马太福音二十五章二十四节二十七节说 This is the parable of the the talents. 这是这个呃管家的才干的这个比喻 The master when he returns. 当那主人回来的时候 He says you ought to have invested my money with the bankers. 他对那个仆人说你应该把我的钱放在这个啊放贷款的人手中 And at my coming, I should have received what was my own with interest. 那我回来时候，我甚至一本代币的呢可以得回。So in fact, Jesus tells us that we should invest our money. 所以甚至呢，在这里看见到耶稣试图告诉我们，我们需要将我们的钱财做啊适当投资。Now, parable of the talents. The talents represent many things. 在这个管家这才干的比喻呢，这个才干是很多样的啊方面。But we can't ignore the one literal symbol that was used in the parable, and that's money. 但是其中一个最重要的，我们不可以呃排斥的呢，就是就是他比喻所所说的钱财。Okay, so the next question sort of builds on this. 所以继续的这个下一个问题就是说 ，Does God want us to prosper and to build wealth? 上帝要不要我们昌盛？要不要我们增加我们的钱财呢 ？Okay, so. I guess I asked that the wrong way, but is that a true or false statement? God wants us to build wealth. 上帝要我们计算钱财。Is this true? 谁说正确的 ？Is this false? 谁说不正确的 ？Okay, all right. Let's take a look. 那我们看一看。Deuteronomy 8 verse 18. 在圣经记八章十八节说。But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is He that giveth thee power to get wealth. 你当纪念呃耶和华你的上帝，因为是他赐你能力去计算钱财。Interesting. That's a very interesting thing. But Jesus also said it is more difficult for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven than a camel to enter the eye of a needle. 但是耶稣又说呢，财主要进天国比骆驼穿针也更加困难
will resolve this issue a little bit later this hour. 可能等一下呢，我们会再谈一谈这个话题。In Review and Herald, March 1, 1887, paragraph 9. 这个评论与宣告呢，就告诉我们说。The desire to accumulate wealth is an original affection of our nature, implanted there by our heavenly Father for noble ends. 他说呢，我们这个计算钱财的这个向往呢，是我们本性的一部分，是上帝天赋给我们的，使到我们能够啊，尊贵的去运用它。So the previous verse said God gave us the ability to gain wealth. 所以之前那章节说，上帝给我们能力去计算钱财。This passage tells us that He also gave us the desire to gain wealth. 这里呢，却说到了上帝甚至给我们想要计算钱财的意念。Now, what difference is this than the love of money? 这个计算钱财的意念和贪财的意念呢，又有什么不一样呢 ？It seems like there's a there has to be a difference, but it seems very close. 似乎是有差距的，但是看起来非常非常的相似，对不对 ？I think the secret here is what are we using means for. 我觉得这里所重要的是什么呢？是我们为的是要做什么 ？Okay, let's keep going. 我们继续看。Deuteronomy 28:11 and 12. 生命记二十八章十一十二节 As a condition of obedience, God makes promises to His people. 因为上帝指明，如果顺服他，上帝就啊、uh, 给他们一些应许 He will make them plenteous in goods. 他会使他们在财务上增加 It says, and they will lend to many nations that shall not borrow. 他们会借贷于其他的啊、uh, 民族，但是不会欠债 So we don't believe in a prosperity gospel. 我们不相信一个嗯，富贵的丰盛这个福音呢。However, we do believe that by following God's principles, prosperity can be the result. 但是我们却相信呢，如果我们跟从上帝呢，丰盛呢是其中上帝的应许之一。Or to define what be prosperous means, we'll talk about that in a little bit. 等一下我们会看一看到底上帝所说的丰盛是什么意思啊、哦、？And incidentally, when it says thou shalt lend to many nations. 在同一个时候，这里说你会借贷给各国的时候 ，That's actually a form of investing。那也是一种投资的方式，对不对 ？So related to the previous question， 是和之前那个问题有关的。Okay, Councils of Sturgeon, page one thirteen, paragraph one。所以同样的呢，给管家的教训，原文一百一十三页说 ，The followers of Christ are not to despise wealth; they are to look upon wealth as the Lord's entrusted talent. 上帝的子跟从者呢，是指明了不应该呢藐视财富，他们应该将财富看为上帝所啊、呃、给予他们的才干。Just like what we mentioned about the parable of the talents， 就和那个管家才干的比喻一样。So yes, indeed, God actually wants His people to be to build wealth。所以是的，上帝其实要他的子民要去计算财富的。Okay, so question number nine. 第九个问题。Getting a little bit more practical now. 现在比较实际了。Okay, we're looking. We're going to look at some numbers. 我们看一些数目。好。But the question: It's better to save small amounts regularly while young than to save a lot later when we earn more. 在我们年轻的时候呢，少不少部分的去啊储蓄呢，是比我们以后啊大量的储蓄呢来的更好。Does that question make sense? Do you understand? 你明白这个问题吗？ So who thinks this is true? 谁觉得是正确的？要在年轻时候计算少少的，比以后。Who thinks this is false? 谁觉得是不正确的 ？Okay, so the older people say it's true. The younger people think it's false. 所以呢，比较老一辈的觉得这是正确的，然后年轻人觉得是不正确的。All the older people there wish I say more than I'm saying. The young people there don't want to say right now. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. 所以我们看一个例子。Okay, so we're looking at thrifty Tiffany and spendy Sally. 所以我们看见一个是会节省的 Tiffany 和比较花费的这个 Sally 会花费。So Tiffany and all of my numbers, let me just mention this now. All my numbers in my seminar are all in U.S. dollars. 所以这我在讲的讲座所有的号码都是美金来的啊。Okay, I don't know. We have people from many different countries: Malaysia, Singapore. Philippines, whatever. So I just kept it USD. Okay. Because here there are many different dollars from the Philippines. I just kept it in Canadian dollars. All right. So two thousand dollars per year from age twenty to thirty. So he, twenty to thirty, every year he invests two thousand dollars. Okay. And it's invested at an eight percent rate of return. His investment is at an eight percent rate of return. His investment is at an eight percent rate of return. So over ten years. 
she puts in twenty thousand dollars of her own money. So in this ten years, she has put in twenty thousand dollars of her own money. And then when she's thirty years old, she stops and she doesn't put in anymore. 然后她呃三十岁的时候呢，她就不再储蓄钱了。So at the same time, they're the same age. Tiffany and Sally. Tiffany and Sally 就是同岁同龄的哈、哦。So the year that Tiffany stops saving, Sally starts saving. 所以 Tiffany 她停止不要存钱过后呢 ，Sally 就开始存钱了。So she saves two thousand dollars a year from age thirty to sixty-five, which is the United States retirement age. 所以他就从三十岁开始储蓄呢，储蓄到六十五岁，六十五岁就是美国的退休年龄啊。Also eight percent， 也是八八千的回呃利息。So over thirty five years， she puts in seventy thousand dollars of her own money。所以三十五年，他储蓄了七十千。When they both retire at sixty five， 他们在六十五岁退休的时候 ，Who will have more money？ 谁会有？更加多的钱呢 ？You think Sally? Who think Sally? 谁觉得是 Sally？ Some, some, some. 有一些。Who think Tiffany? 谁觉得是 Tiffany？ Okay, a few more. 有一些。Okay, so here's the answer. 所以这个是答案。At 65, 在六十五岁的时候 ，Tiffany will have five hundred thousand dollars. Tiffany 呢就有存款的呃五十万。And Sally will only have three hundred eighty thousand. But Sally 呢只有三十八万。But she put in over three times more of her own money. 但是呢 ，Sally 却储蓄了比 Tiffany 呢多了三倍的钱。She saved long over a longer period of her life. 她也储蓄了很多很多年。So how can she end up with so much less than Sally? 那么她怎么怎么可能会比 Tiffany 少那么多钱呢？ The answer is all in the secret of compound interest. 答案呢就是附加的利息。Okay, compound interest is interest that earns interest on itself. 附加的利息就是呢，呃，利上加利的这个概念。And the secret ingredient that makes compound interest work is time. 这个秘密呢，使得附加利息能够成功呢，就是时间。So young people have an advantage in saving money that old people can never have again. 所以年轻人啊，储蓄钱呢，有一个啊，老年人是没有办法得到的这个本事。They have time on their side， 就是他们有时间。They don't even need to have a huge amount to save。他们甚至不需要储蓄很多钱。Okay， so here's the graph of Tiffany and Sally。所以这个是啊，储蓄的这个啊，这个表表个表。对。So Tiffany only save from here to there。所以 Tiffany 呢，只是在前一段储蓄而已。You notice that the money continue to just grow， 然后那个钱呢，就会不断的增加。Because the eight percent that keeps compounding year after year, it just goes up exponentially. 因为呢，到八千的利息呢，会利上加利，使到它越来越多。So sorry, ten years later, Sally never catches up. 所以 Sally 在十年后，她开始要追的时候呢，完全追不上了。So the point is, young people, it is worth it to save a little bit right away rather than wait down a lot later. So, give 年轻人教训就是呢，越早储蓄一点点呢，是比以后储蓄很多的来得越好。I have another slide in another presentation, but I'll share with you now. There's a saying: the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. 有一个有一句名言就是说呢，种树最好的时间呢是二十年前。But the second best time is right now. 但是第二好种树的时间是今天 ，and that's the same with investing。所以在储蓄和投资呢也是一样的道理。All right, so last quiz question number ten。所以最后一个问题，第十个问题。The best way to reach financial independence is to earn more money。如果你要得到经济上的独立呢，最重要的就是要计算更多的钱财。That's the common thinking, right？ 这是我们想象的。In order for me to build wealth, I just need to earn more money. 如果我要计算钱财，我就要去去赚钱，赚多一点。So who thinks this is true？ 谁觉得这是正确的 ？Earn more money， 就是要赚更多钱，才能够经济上独立。谁觉得是不正确的 ？This was a trick question。这其实是一个啊、呃，一个不是有，这个是一个比较难的一个问题啊。Because what's the alternative that we're comparing with？ Right？ 因为我们这里没有做一个比较，所以你们说是对还是错啊 ？So the assumption is 
Is it better to reach financial independence through earning more or saving more and spending less? Okay. So, your your comparison is: you want to calculate money, the best way to earn more money is to save more money, or to spend more money. Of course, the answer, the best way is to earn more and save more. Right. Of course, the best way is to earn more and save more. Right. 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 Now, assuming that that's not an option, you only have to choose. Cut your spending and save more money, or earn more. Between those two, which one is better? 但是呢，这连做的比较就是呢，如果你只是去赚更多的钱比较重要，还是储蓄更多钱比较重要？所以给你这样，所以给你看另外一个例子。It has a this hopefully will help you have a shift in thinking of what financial independence really is. 这个我希望呢能够帮助你看见到经济独立的这个概念是什么。We're talking about Saver Sam and Consumer Carl. So we have Sam, he's very frugal, and Carl, he's very expensive. Sam earns fifty thousand dollars US. Sam, he will make uh fifty thousand. Carl earns three times more, one hundred and fifty thousand. Carl, he will make three times more, one hundred and fifty thousand. Carl, he will make three times more, one hundred and fifty thousand. 在美国呢，五十千就是一般人的年薪。And hundred fifty thousand is a fairly good size salary. 而十五万呢是相当好的薪金了。Okay, so Sam is only requires twenty thousand dollars per year to live. 而 Sam 呢每年他的生活花费呢只花了二十千。And that means he's able to save thirty thousand dollars out of his fifty. 也就是说呢，他从他那五万块钱能够储蓄三万。Carl, on the other hand, he spends one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year. Carl, 呢，他却花费了呃十二万的呃钱。But look, he saves the same amount. Thirty thousand. 他储蓄和 Sam 储蓄一样多的钱就是三万。So we just look at the thirty thousand. They are basically the same. 所以如果我们看到三万，其实是一样的，对不对 ？But here's the difference. 但是不同的就在这里。They need a lot less to live. 他们生活所需要用的费用呢，是非常的差距太远了。So Sam is saving sixty percent of his income. Sam 呢，他储蓄了他的呃工资的六十八千。Carl on the other hand is only saving twenty percent. Carl 呢，却只储蓄了他收入的二十八千。So what difference does this make? 所以这一个对我们来说有什么样的不一样呢？ Think of it this way. 这样想一想 For each year that Sam works, he can take over one year vacation off. 可以这样想，就是如果 Sam 做一年的工的话呢，他另一年就可以不用做工了。Whereas Carl has to work four years before he can take one year off. 而 Carl 呢，他却需要做四年的工呢，才能够放假一年。You see, the the way you think about financial independence is not no longer how much money do I have just in a dollar figure. 所以呢，在我们想到经济上独立的时候呢，我们要想不只是我们储蓄多少钱。It's how much I have saved up in ratio to what I actually need to live. 而是呢，我所储蓄的和我所花费所需要的费用的这个对比。So looking at this, even though Carl earns three times more. 所以如果我们这样看来呢，虽然靠赚了。比 Sam 多三倍的工资 ，and they save the same amount each year. 每年他们也储蓄一样的这个呃钱。Sam actually has greater financial independence. 然后 Sam 呢，却比 Carl 呢多了很多的经济上的自立独立。Because maybe he doesn't want to take vacation, but he loses his job. 或因为可能 Sam 他呃可以失业。Once he loses his job, he can survive an entire year without another job. 他。他失业了过后呢，他没有做过的情况下，还可以继续活一年哦。Carl can't have that luxury. 但是 Carl 呢却不能了。So there's a double benefit on living on less. 所以呢，如果我们生活的消费降低的话呢，是有点双重好处的。First is you can save a greater percentage of your income immediately. 第一就是呢，你马上就能够储蓄更加多的这个呃你的收入。And your total amount of savings you need. Overall, is permanently decreased in the future. 而那以后所需要花费的金钱呢，也大量的减少了。So if I had to pick between the the only two options was earning more money or saving more money, 
I'll go saving more every time. 如果我们真的是需要选择是赚更多钱还是储蓄更多钱的话呢，我们会每次都储选择储蓄。Of course, I'll just make this note because someone always brings it up. 当然，我要做一个啊、uh, 说明，因为每个人每次都会问的。It's only worth to a certain point because you can only save so much. 这个呢，只是能够达到一个。啊，特定的比率，因为我们不能把所有的东西都储蓄，对吧 ？But assuming a typical income, someone with a income stream. 但是在一个实际上的生活来说呢，是可以做得到。All right, so that's the end of our quiz. 所以这刚才呢，就是我们的这个小测验。But I am going to continue on here. I think I have until three, if I'm correct. Is that true? 我可以继续，因为我们应该是到三点。Is that right? Okay. So I'm going to continue on here uh, with Sort of recapping with a little bit more information some of the things we've started talking about. 所以呢，我一开始呢，重新的复习一点点我们刚才所说的。So we need to figure out what's the purpose of money now. 我们需要知道呢，金钱的目的是什么呢 ？I think we understand somewhat on a basic level, but let's break it down. 我们分析一下，因为我相信大家都明白一点点。Money is a tool that has only three functions. 钱呢，其实一个工具，它只有三个用处。Three and only three. 只有三个用处而已。Number one is you can spend it on current needs or wants. 就是呢，花费在我们现在所需要用到和你想要得到的东西。Or to save for future needs or wants. 第二，就是你把它储蓄下来，是为了以后所需要用到。或者是你以后所想要的得到的东西。And number three is to give away. 而第三个用处就是把它花去给掉。This is money after you've earned it. That is. 这是你已经赚取的收入了啊。So you have to earn it first. 你需要赚先赚钱。Okay. So to spend, to save, or to give. 所以是花费、储蓄和把它送出去。Those are the three things that money is good for. 这只有三样可以做的事情。And this is confirmed by the spirit of prophecy. 李彦之也同样是这么说的。Christ Object Lessons, page two, uh, three fifty one, paragraph three. 天路原文三百五十一页说 ，Money has great value because it can do great good. 他说金钱有很大的价值，因为它能够做很多很好的事情。But money is of no more value than sand, only as it put to use in providing the necessities of life, blessing others, and advancing the cause of Christ. 但是，除非钱是用来供应我们每日所需要的，用来啊赐福别人，用来啊为上帝的施工而奉献的话呢，它的价值和沙土呢是没有分别的。So provide for the necessity of life. So it's to give us our daily needs or wants, or to save for our needs or wants, or to save for the future necessities. 就是呢，给我们现今所需要和以后所需要的。Okay, in blessing others and advancing the cause, as to give to others. 接下来就是赐福别人，或者是为上帝的施工啊，推动上帝的施工，就是给出去了。These are the only uses for money. 所以钱就是这样用而已。Okay, so with that in mind, what does it mean to be prosperous? We read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that God promises prosperity to those who are faithful. So we read earlier that 每次我们谈论到这一点的时候 ，we think of wealthiness as things like this。我们就会想到这一些东西 ：tropical vacation, fast cars, big houses, flying on a private jet， 就是去旅行啊，去住洋房，开大车，坐啊飞机之类的。And what's funny is I've actually met people who have some of done some of these things or own some of these things。而特别的是有趣的是呢，我认识一些的人，他们就是拥有这些事情的。We will look at them and say, "Oh, wow, they're very rich." Then we look at them and say, "Oh, they're very rich." Do you realize that never any single one of them will say that they're rich? You know, they don't have any one who will say that they're rich. That term, prosperous, prosperous, or rich, it always applies to someone else. It's never to me. This prosperous, rich, or rich, it's always on someone else. 
所以你刚刚谈的时候，他们说哦，其实我没有很有钱，我另外的朋友，我遇见的他们会有更多的。So we need to figure out what does God mean when He says prosperity. 所以我们需要想想，上帝说昌盛富足是什么意思呢 ？And this verse in this passage in Proverbs 30 verses 8 and 9 is the most important passage probably of this entire sermon. 而这一节在真言书三十章八节到九节呢，或许就是我们这讲座最重要的这章节了。Remove far from me falsehood and lying。他想叫我们要远离欺骗和撒谎。Give me neither poverty nor riches。不要让我贫困，也不要让我富足。Feed me with the food that is needful for me。给我我所需的粮食供应我。Lest I be full and deny you, and say, "Who is the Lord?" 免得我富有的时候就忘记你，问你是谁。Or lest I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. 也不要让我贫困去，免得我去偷盗，就啊污秽了上帝的名。So right here we get the balance. 所以在这里呢，我们看见到一个平衡。God says. Or, or in Proverbs says, I don't want to be full of riches. 在这年他说我不要很多很多钱。It leads me to forget God and depend upon myself. 因为这会使得我忘记上帝，依靠我自己。Just like that rich man. 就像那富足的人。Going the camel, going to the eye of the needle. I don't want that experience. 不能进入这个墨，就是这个针眼，不能进上这个国。But neither are we to strive for poverty. 然而我们也也不要成为很贫困的人。Because the danger is that I'll be poor and want to steal and profane the name of God. 因为有一个危险，就是我们可能会去偷窃，会去贪别人的东西呢，使得我们羡慕上帝的名。Or to have an attitude of covetousness because everyone else is. Does, you know, I deserve what they have. 有一个贪念，就是认为哦，我应该得到他们别人所得到的东西，有是这样子的苦闷。So biblically speaking, what is the level that we're trying to strive for? 所以圣圣经里面我们所要达到的标准其实是什么呢 ？It's neither poverty nor riches. 是不要贫困，也不要富有。But simply having that which is needful for us. 然而是有得到我们日常所需要的。So what does it mean to be prosperous or wealthy or rich according to Scripture? So, 所以跟圣经来说，得到丰盛是什么意思呢 ？It is to have our needs met. 就是我们凡所需的都能够得着。To have enough, 能够有足够。So once we have enough, any surplus beyond that is prosperity that can be used back into God's work. 所以当我们供应完我们所需要的时候，任何添加的呢？都是财富呢，是要用在上帝的工作上的。So that's true. 如果这是真实的话 ，Then what this means is the less I need, the easier it is for me to prosper. 这就是代表呢，如果我所需要的越少的话呢，我就越容易可以富足了。Remember Sam and Carl? 你明白 Sam 和 Carl 刚才那个例子吗 ？Carl earned more money. Carl 呢，他赚很多钱。But Sam was more prosperous. 但是 Sam 呢却比较富足。There's a difference in the thinking there. 所以这个思想上呢是有差距的。And this one is a Greek philosopher, I believe. He says wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. 这是一个希腊的学者，他说呢，富足呢不是在拥有很多的财富，而是拥有很少的欲望。And he's echoing what I believe is from Scripture. 而我觉得他就是在啊圣经里面的一种反礼的一种态度。First Timothy six verse six says, "But godliness with contentment is great gain." 提摩太前书六章六节说呢，啊、嗯，圣洁拥有满足的丰盛的时候呢，是很大的财富。To learn the ability to be content with what we have， 能够满足于我们所拥有的东西。That is a true challenge. 那是真正的挑战。So the question next is, how do I know how much I need? 那当然，我们需要知道我们需要多少呢 ？Because if our need is what determines the level of prosperity, well, we need to know how much we need. 因为如果我们的需要能够啊代表我们富有还是不富有的话呢，那我们需要应该我们要知道有多少。Do I need that BMW? 我真的需要那辆。啊 ，B M W 吗？宝马车。Do I need all these latest toys? 我需不需要这一些啊？最新进、最新的这些玩具啊 
So this is how we figure out how much we need. 所以这是我们怎么样可以知道我们所需要的 ？First, we need to track our monthly living expenses. 第一，我们需要发现到我们每个月的开销是多少 ？Every penny. 每一分。Every cent. 每每毫。Yeah. So how do you do that? 要怎么知道呢 ？So practically, you look over all the receipts that you collect, and you probably should just get a habit of collecting them if you haven't been doing it. 就是要开始学习收集你所有花费的这些呃单据、收据。You look at your bank and credit card statements. 然后要看你的银行户口和你的呃呃这些利卡啊，代理卡。Just and just look at a month and see how much you're spending and where you're going. 然后就看这个月你没有花了多少，花在什么地方。So then you can start categorizing what you're spending money on. 然后你就可以开始把它们分类。And this is you have to do this before you can actually have a reasonable budget anyway. So you might see you're spending half of your salary on rent. And if you don't have any money left, it might be time to look for a cheaper place to live. 如果你发现到哎没有剩多少了不够用的话，你可能要搬去一个没有这么贵的屋子了。And if Or if half of your money is spent eating out, 如果你发现到一般的钱呢都花在呃吃喝方面 ，you may want to eat at home more. 可能开始要自己煮了，在家里哦。Okay, so you want to count for everything. 所以要知道每一样事情你花了。Once you take a look at how much you're spending, that gives you a clear starting point as to oh, this is how much I'm actually spending to live. 那么你知道了你每个月花费的时候，你就有一个概念，哦，我就花费这样多，每一个月都需要了。And from there you can adjust. 从那个出发点就可以开始调整。And that's what we're going to discuss in session number four. How do we put all those things together to adjust and how to reach our goals? 而做这些调整，如何达到我们的目标呢？是我们第四场会说到的。This is really important. 这非常重要。Having a clear grasp of your regular living expenses is essential to gain control over your personal finances. 如果你要管理好自己的钱财，你必须要知道你所花费是多少。You've got to diagnose the problem before working on a cure. 因为你还没有呃做调整、尝试去医治的时候，你必须要知道问题所在。Nothing else in the seminar will matter if the stuff is not done. 如果你没有做到这一点的话呢，这几场呢，其他的东西都没有用处了。I had a friend come talk to me once. 我请有个朋友来找我说。He said, "Can you help me?" 我说，你可以帮我吗 ？I'm in a lot of student loan debt. 我有很多的这个学生贷款。I don't know how to pay it off. 我不知道要怎么还清这些贷款。I make plenty of money, but I don't know how where it's going. 我赚很多，相当多的钱，不过我不知道我花费去哪里。I don't spend that much money. 我说我没有花很多钱，其实。So when I asked her, "What are you spending your money on?" 所以我就问她，你去花什么？你告诉我吧。<laughs> so I didn't. She, she didn't tell me after she went through the numbers how much. But I'm friends with her on Facebook, so I sort of have an idea. <laughs> 所以呢，她没有告诉我她花费是多少。不过，呃，我和她是在面子书上是朋友，所以我大概有个概念，她花在什么地方。Yeah. So we see pictures from many international locations. 因为我看很多图片，她在很多不同国家旅游。Getting stuck in many international airports. 然后在很多不同的这些国际飞机场里拍照。I have a feeling that some of the money not going to student loans have been going to airline companies. 我觉得有一些的钱或许不是去还贷款的，是去坐飞机的啊。So the point here is, we never think we're spending a lot of money. 所以这里的概念就是呢，我们总是不觉得我们花很多钱的。Five dollars, ten dollars, here and there, before long, can be hundreds and thousands. 这里一点，那里一点，加起来就很可观的一笔数目了。So we really need to spend that time making sure we know where it's going first. 所以我们真正需要花那个时间去知道，我们真的是把钱花放在哪一些地方。All right, so we're coming down to the end of session one, and let me give you the summary now. 所以现在我要做总结，我们今天所说到的。God desires His people to give sacrificially, but still build wealth and live a comfortable life. 上帝人是要他的子民呢有牺牲的做奉献，然而他们的生活却是仍然要舒适而且有计算财富的。Okay, 
Right? It is better to save a little bit early on than a lot later, thanks to the power of compound interest. 因为呢，有这个利上加利的观念呢，所以如果我们早一点储蓄一点的钱，比以后储蓄很多钱来的更有啊、呃、用处。It is better to live on less than to earn more. 我们将花费减少的，比我们赚更多钱的来的更加重要。Money is a tool that's only good to spend, to save, or to give away. 钱是一个工具，是用来花费、储蓄和啊、呃、私余的。And according to the Bible, we are prosperous when we have enough to meet our needs. 而圣经告诉我们呢，如果我们有足够的钱，呃，让我们呃用在我们生活所需的时候，我们就已经丰盛了。And in order to determine what our needs are, we must start by tracking our monthly living expenses. 而我们需要知道我们的需要的话，我们就必须知道我们每个月花费有多少。So that brings us to the end of session number one. So, the second part is over. But let me give you the outline of what we're talking about for the next five sessions. 在我，但是我要告诉你一点点关于接下来五场会说到什么。Okay, so the next hour. 下一段呢 ？Our topic is called laying up your treasure. 我们会讲到呢，呃，把财富积攒。How do we invest in the bank of heaven? 我们要怎么样把财富积攒在天上？ And we'll talk about issues related to our giving. 我们会说到关于私余奉献 And also a little bit about the end of time. 也要说一点关于世界的末了 Okay, and that is because it is the most Sabbath appropriate topic. 这个我会说，因为这个可能是安息日比较适合的一个课题 Now tomorrow morning we'll be talking about gathering up the fragments. 星期天早上呢，我会说到关于拾起零碎这个课题。And the whole message is my attempt to try to convince you to live on less. 而那一场呢，就是我想要让你能够花费减少的一个办法。And I'll be sharing with you a little bit of my experience. 而我也想要分享一点我个人的经验。And then on Monday we have three sessions. 然后星期一我们有三场。Okay, session number four, I guess. That's Sun Monday morning. 在星期一早上第四场 It's entitled "Counting the Cost." 就是说到呢啊去数算代价 All about budget. 是关于啊做预算的 And my approach is a little different, perhaps, than what you've typically heard. So, 我这个啊做预算的方法，或许跟你们所知道的有一点不一样。And then after that, we'll be talking about debt. 然后我们会说到呢关于贷款和欠债 How to approach debt? How do you think about it? How to get out of it? 我们怎么看待贷款？我们要怎么样从呃欠债中出来之类的问题 And also we'll talk about how to buy a house. 也会说到如何买屋子 And in that session, I actually spent a little bit of time talking about relationships. 而在那一边，我也会说到关于啊感情的问题 And then the last session, session number six, is going to be on principles on investing. 呃，最后一个第六场呢，会说到关于投资之类的。So that gives you an outline of what you can expect for the next few sessions. 所以这就让你知道接下来会可以预算是什么东西。So at this point, we'll have prayer, and then we'll take a break, and then we'll begin back again at three o'clock. 所以现在我们会祷告分散，在三点半的时候再分，三点钟的时候。Okay, let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for the counsel you give to us in your word. 天父上帝，我们感谢你在你话语中给我们的劝勉。May we understand and apply. 求主你帮助我们明白，运用在生活中。Help us to live in accordance to your will. 帮助我们活在你的旨意中。According to your definitions. 活在你所啊设定的范围内。And may we prosper as you would have us prosper. 求主你让我们富足，就算你想要我们富足那样。May you help us to not succumb to the evils of the love of money. 也帮助我们不会掉入贪财的状况中。That we can manage our funds in a way that's glorifying to you and advances your kingdom. 然后能够帮助我们好好的管理你所给我们的钱财，能够推动主你国度。Bless us for the remainder of this afternoon and this weekend. We pray. 求主你继续的赐福我们今天下午和是周末。Pray, Jesus. 奉主耶稣名求。